Hello everybody, my name is Katamon, welcome back for a new series, The Forgotten City, boys. I'm excited to play this game for you, it's an indie game, uh, doesn't cost a lot, it costs like 20 bucks or something. So if you guys want to buy it, buy it already, I'm already telling you, if it's an indie game, it doesn't cost you anything, you don't have anything to lose, just buy it, you know, and if you don't like it, you don't like it, but at least it didn't cost you anything, unlike uh, the AAA games, you know. So this is a really uh, interesting game that I was really interested in. Instead of the Roman times, I believe, there's a mysterious murder happening and you gotta discover like as a detective or, so, or, or some sort of thing like that. Uh, you gotta discover what's going on around you. Uh, it looks like a bit of an RPG as well element, some to add it to it. So I'm really excited to play this game for you boys. It looks fantastic. Uh, well, it's gonna look fantastic. It was made. It's made by the Unreal Engine, which, uh, if you guys don't know about them, they are doing some fantastic work with the uh, Jedi Academy uh, stuff as well. So they they're really like doing fantastic work all around. I like these guys uh, over there. So um, I want to praise them, and I want to I want to do play the games that they uh, deliver. So there it is. It finally came out a couple of days ago. I haven't I had the chance to actually play it uh, because I've been working so much. And on top of that, I didn't, I just didn't have the chance of doing it simply like that, simply put. So uh, we're going to start it up, boys, straight up. And we're, we're going to have some fun. Let's see what this game is truly all about. And before we start anything, boys, I want to tell you as well, uh, as I'm starting this, uh, there's a lot of uh, dialogue as you can see you can read it if you want I'm playing this by the way on my brand new ps5 So it's gonna it's gonna know I'm gonna know this if there's a change It's made by both unreal engine and at the same time. It's on ps5. So my brand new console boys next generation finally Let's see what this game is all about. I'm really excited Hey, You're alive When I dragged you out of the river. I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID a phone, maybe? I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Uh, Alright, so who am I exactly? So I guess that's the RPG element type of? Who do I start as? So, uh, Stranger? Oh, Alright, this is kind of cool. I like, so select your body type. What does that even mean exactly? Oh, am I gonna be a female or a woman? Okay, so is, I think that's female. I think that's uh, male. Yeah, I think that's what, uh, what that's what it is. I like how it's done. Uh, how it's done. So there's definitely some RPG elements to it, boys. You can already tell. Uh, let's see really quick. Let's pick uh, male, obviously. All right. So what color? I'm a whitest possible color, boys. All right. So uh, I guess my name. So Gab Demoir. There we go. Just like that. Done. Save choices and continue. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Oh, okay. So I decided to actually I decide where I come from as well. That's really awesome. I like that quite a lot. I was searching for ancient runes. I was on a covert mission. I was on the run uh, from the law. I barely remember anything. All right, so your time on the run from a tourist made you quick on your feet. Okay, so that would be 25 press uh, faster when sprinting. Uh, but only 10 bullets. You'll have to use to just see since there's no way to get more. So you have military issued firearm. That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, ancient rules. Years of studying history gives you occasional insights in the, into the ancient world. Really? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, your recent trauma, so making you 50% harder to take down amnesia. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not really into the covert stuff. I kind of want to do the ancient rules. I was searching for some ancient rules. I kind of want to do that. Like having uh, some flashbacks to the ancient worlds and stuff would be really awesome, I feel like. So let's do that. I don't really care about being faster or anything. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. 
He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Oh, uh, sure, I guess. I don't really have a, a, any other choice than to do that, really. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? What's your story? Who is how? Where are we? What can you tell me about the runes? Exactly, what can you tell me about the runes? Except the fact that they're Roman. Because I'm an archaeologist after all, so I mean, I, I want to know everything. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. Well, I don't care about Al, but the priceless ancient artifacts, that I care about. That seems fantastic, boys. That's all the questions I had. Have you tried calling for help, actually? Maybe that would have helped. What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. But you found me. What's that tell you? All right, well, so what's your story? Where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Okay, so we are in Italy. So in the the, uh, the per perimeter of the of the uh, main Roman Empire, I guess. Okay, so that's all the questions I had, I guess. I don't... Don't care too much about who is Al or anything. So you're ready to go look for Al? Uh, Al, when I'm in, I'm going to for uh, I'm going in for the priceless artifacts. Well, I'll keep an eye out for him. Yeah, I'll I'll go, uh, I'll go for the priceless artifacts. Well, I'll keep an eye out for him if I ever see him or something. I can't promise anything though. My hero, the entrance is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here, but I think you'll need it more than I will. All right, the flashlight, boys. How presumptuous. That's going to really be helpful. Let's take it. All right, so we got a flashlight to move around, I guess. Yeah, pretty easy. Okay, so I can already crouch. As you can see, I have already know how to crouch. Got the flashlight. Very good. I don't even know if I actually need the flashlight. I can see pretty well from then on. All right, so that's pretty good. So if we go into the runes, which uh, we're going to do, inspect. Rusted metal torch, which must have been lit by Hal. I'm going through the right way. All right. I like that quite a lot. I like the game. The game looks pretty as hell. It looks really good, boys. I like it. It looks really good. All right. So to sprint. Okay. So that's to sprint and stuff. Okay. Do I have stamina or how does it work exactly? I'm not sure. Not sure if I have stamina system or whatever in this game. But uh, I'm really excited, boys. I'm really excited about this game. It has a lot of promise. Hopefully it delivers. Not um, like uh, hi, I'm not uh, too hyped for anything crazy. You know, it's a twenty bucks game, so the, uh, I can at this point get anything really. I'm not like I'm not uh, hoping to get uh, the best thing ever. Uh, so there's a note in there. Hal's note. Reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Interesting. Could an underground city have remained a secret? For all this time. Well, it is possible. Anything's possible, you know. Against the odds. It seems. Well, people surviving there, though, I don't know about that. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. All right, so... This guy basically, and I know how about his name, I mean, Alworth, really? That's his name. You're gonna think of something better. 
I see what you did there, developers. But um, as I was about to say, I think we got like a, a fellow uh, architecture, architecture type of guy right here. What the fuck? I just got... This is a trap. Oh, this ain't good. We just fell apart. And how did we not break our knees right there? The hell was that, boys? Oh, I'm on the water. Oh, that's how, I guess. I guess I splashed on the water. But even at that fall, that, uh, that high of a fall, I would have nearly splashed my head in. I would have... I would have Fallen like a rock or something. I don't like this. Well, all right. Let's see what we got. Oh my god. I mean, this looks beautiful. It just truly looks beautiful. Look at these. Whisper. What the fuck? Who's talking right here? And I love this place. This place looks really beautiful, boys. This game, it looks fantastic. I gotta tell you. Now, the flashlight does... Not too good. The, the light doesn't help out too much, but this is priceless right here. This is all priceless artifacts, all right. This is beautiful. You gotta sh take that to a museum right now. This this is the find of a century for me right here, man. Holy shit. Whoever was living here. Look at these statues, though. A golden statue. Roman gladiator mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator f flee? Exactly. So are these all the, the people that were used to live there or something? They probably became statues probably. That's kind of scary if that uh, if that's actually the thing. Okay, let's see what we got. I actually don't need a flashlight anymore. Look at all this. All right, so is someone speaking in Latin, boys? I don't uh, I don't know um anything about Latin. I don't speak it. Look at that though, they've got like some sort of uh, reddish going on over there, reddish uh, thing. I don't know if it's the lights uh, going uh, doing that or whatever, but this place is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, this reminds me of my time in Italy, boys. I love it. So beautiful. I love it, man. The runes and stuff. Oh, look at that. Uh, look, just imagine how much it would have looked if it actually was... Like, this is, looks like a Pompeii type of situation. This is beautiful. But this definitely f feels like they all have been made into gold and stuff. Roman legionary in a state of terror. Yeah, I feel like these were all real people and stuff. And they just got thrown into um, golden status and stuff. Which is interesting. Look at that. Look how huge this place is. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's run a little bit, boys. Let's run. These people are terrified. This is a centurion, probably. Is that okay? A Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. Wow. Look at that. This place looks beautiful. I don't know what happened, though. I'm very intrigued to uh, know what happened. So this is probably the mystery uh, that we're going to try and uncover, I guess. Whatever happened here. What is this? Follow Al's trail, so trail, so we did. Is that Al? A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? So he hang himself. I guess we found him. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, but you'll suffer the same fate I did. What? I've spent a lifetime in this place. Circles searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. What do you Neither mean you, there's no way back? I'm stuck? Death and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. I mean, archaeologist, of course I'm going to try. Of course I'm going to try and go into the portal. I don't know what this whisper is. A young woman in state of panic. All right, so Al is dead. So that woman is not going to be happy about that. I got a feeling she's somehow got something to do with this because... She's the only person we've talked to so far 
that's actually alive. That's not that can't be a coincidence, boys. Okay, that's really creepy. That's really creepy. I'm not gonna lie, boys. All right, well, let's go into the portal. Are we gonna go into the past or something? What's gonna happen here? Let's do this. This is trippy. I like that quite a lot, though. We got a universe and stuff. So we're going to the past, traveling back in time or something. It looks like we are. Look at this place. We're back in time. All right. Well, look at this place. On its prime, boys. And if it, nothing's been crumbled, everything looks perfect. Uh, figure out uh, how to return to your original time. Wait, that's the only objective right now? That can't be. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm Gademoir. Uh, I got lost. Well, of course I got lost. Shrine of uh, Proserpina? Wait, are you speaking English? Exactly, I'm confused. Aren't you supposed to be speaking Latin here? Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh shit, so I'm just... Okay, so I guess... What you did there. Uh, that's interesting. Like that. Again, who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? I guess we are speaking Latin after all. Never mind. I didn't say anything. I'm not gonna say I'm coming from the future. He's gonna tell you, uh, he's gonna uh, put me into the pit with the lions right away if I say I'm in the future, my boys. Shrine of Prosperina? I guess I got lost. Oh, is that right? Well, just make sure you don't get lost in any other sacred places you're not supposed to be. Can't have you disrespecting the gods by accident, can we now? But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... You seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Well, what are those laws exactly? What? Yeah, what's the laws? Not laws, law. Oh, just a law, a single one. The golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's, well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? All right, lead the way. No thanks, I'll make my own way. You know what? No thanks, I think I will make my own way. Look, you seem like you might need a little extra help, and I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I showed you the way. Don't worry about me. I, I know what I'm doing. You don't need to worry about me at all, buddy. Friend, suit yourself. Just don't do anything too reckless till you've spoken with Magistrate Sentius in his villa down there. See you around. All right, so I gotta learn about the Golden Rule. All right, and I probably have to visit the Magistrate Sentius in his uh, villa. All right, we'll do that. In the meantime, I kind of want to visit around, man. Uh, this place looks beautiful. I don't know if uh, the video itself is going to make it justice, boys, but the, the, the PS5 is all under control right there. It definitely shows. And this is what Unreal Engine can do for you. It's just fantastic. All right, so there's a lot of stuff going on. I kind of want to go in that direction, though. Even though the, uh, the villa is probably down there. I kind of want to see what, uh, like, to take a look around even more. This, I mean, all of this is beautiful. Queen the Take the quaint pouch, boys. Take some money out of that, I guess. I did I did well to go up there, then. If I took the money and stuff. This golden statue. Okay, so there's nothing else. There was just money there. Ling around for me, boys. I did the good thing, then. Just uh, going down. Alright, let's take a look around. Uh, where do we go right there? Just gonna try and put alternative paths. Maybe they're gonna give some coins to me and stuff, right? And find coins. I think the villa's down there. Not too sure how Roman cities actually work too much. I have uh, been to Roman cities. Oh, well, not it, Italian cities, but... I mean, it looks a bit familiar, boys, but... Their system and stuff, right, is very ancient. So I'm not sure how they, uh, they built it up. Let's see what we got. It's very fun, boys, to be actually playing what I used to really like or want to do. Which is uh, being an agri, uh, not a agriculture, an, an archaeologist and stuff. 
I want it to be that my entire life. It's just it takes a lot of uh, a lot of study to do that, and I'm not. Uh, I don't have any patience for uh, studying. I think that's the guy I'm supposed to meet. Probably right. Let me talk to him really quick. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Uh, all right, lead him away. I don't think so. Well, I'm not even about to say that. He's a soldier. He can do whatever he wants. He's basically the police, boys. He's an MP, so I'm not gonna disrespect him in any way. Follow me. All right, I'm gonna just follow him. What the? This guy's just doing push-ups. Like it ain't nothing, boys. Just showing off uh, up to everyone. Well, why is wasting my time is time with me then? Oh my God, this place looks beautiful. All the colors and stuff. Don't you wish you would like like you would live in those times? Aside from the part that there were always at war and a lot of sa assassinations, you would have to look behind you and stuff. Oh, you just live here, do you? Good for you, ma'am. All right, Horatius, I got you. Let's go talk to Magistrate. Is that him? All right, buddy. All right, so uh, who are you exactly? What do you do exactly? Well, I guess you're in charge of this place, right? We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? My name? Oh, well, it's easy. I'm goddamn war. Well, that's the French accent to you, my guy. I don't know, I, there's nothing I can do about that. Sorry about that one. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Equitia? Who is she? Wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? Oh, it truly is. It, it is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. Okay, so you're saying we're all and from the modern time. Not a How is that possible? Has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Well, I can't say I have, unfortunately. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. What? You see, the builders of this place, whoever they left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one well, that's just bullshit Shall right there the law here I don't like that the gods and provoke a terrible punishment like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined turning us all to gold we've come to call it the golden rule it's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please. Ask away. So I'm guessing here I'm gonna have to find out who is who's gonna put, be a baddie, who's gonna do one mistake that's gonna literally kill everyone. I I wonder what counts as a sin in here. Exactly, what are the sins? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined 
wrong. Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. Yeah, it makes it makes sense, but what else? Reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Alrighty then. Well, it makes sense to me. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is, what is legal isn't always moral. And many of your laws and customs are consider, uh, considered barbaric where I'm from. You know what? That's kind of true. I'm not going to lie. Morality and laws are not the same thing exactly. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Yeah, Rome right now. That's what you think you are. Darkness. For 800 years she has borne statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have but all co uh, what cost exactly? You gotta, you gotta tell yourself that at some point, buddy. Countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? Well, look, it doesn't exactly work like that. All right, it's not the same situation, my guy. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the the hubris to call us barbaric. My mistake? Nah, I don't regret saying it. Don't your laws allow slave ownership? Exactly. That's barbaric in itself. Slave is oh, it's, it's ownership. Already not good. People watch blood sports for entertainment. Well, that's okay. It's it's entertainment. Don't war, don't women have fewer rights than men? Exactly. Don't you perse persecute Christ uh, Christians? Exactly. Religion. Don't you practice collective punishment? Well, you know, all of these are good. But the worst of them, it's not the women that don't have rights uh, compared to men. I think even worse than that is the fact that slave is a thing. Slavery is, is a thing for them. And it is working. It's a working system. Uh, but I don't know, man. Of course. What else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. Yeah, well, what about the rights for women, a woman then? With fewer rights come fewer responsibilities and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. He didn't you, you didn't answer my question there. It's still immoral. It's still not a good thing, my guy. What are you talking about? Protected by your father and husband. They don't need to protect them. They, they can protect themselves. The fuck are you talking about? What about the Christians? All the other religions that you uh, you don't recognize. You mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Blasphemous cult. Yeah, right, buddy. Don't you practice collective uh, punishment? Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. All right, so... You know what? Where I'm from, we consider those things to be abhorrent. Exactly. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I will Is that what I've been hearing? What, you, uh, what did you mean when you said Prosperina sent me? How does the ritual work? Why can't you investigate? Do you have any suspects? If I do this, will you help me get me back to my own time? That's all the question. No. 
So why can't uh, do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Fair enough. Uh, how do I know you're not the person responsible? Well, how do I not? Yeah, how do exactly? Do I know that you're not the one that's responsible for all of this? What reason could you possibly have to suspect me of all people? Well, everybody's got to be on the suspect line. Come on, my so. guy. Everybody's a, su a suspect. Without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Come on, tell me what you really think. Well, all right. There are those who wish to vote me out of office. So that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda. That's how Rome works. Their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city. I would be looking very carefully at them if I were you. And I kind of want to work really. I want to look carefully at you, buddy. Whenever someone says that, it means they're the other they're problem, not the other ones. If I do this, will it get my back? Me back in my own time? What did you mean when you said uh, she sent me? Why can't you just investigate yourself? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Well, I might get off on the wrong foot. Might have the wrong questions. You never know. How does the ritual work? What did you mean when you said Prospera uh, sent me? I don't really care about that. Uh, if I do this, are you going to help me for my uh, comeback to my own time? I understand ritual correctly. That problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you have created a paradox. Oh, it's a paradox. Okay, I got you. Flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense. But that's not how a paradox works. Uh, the paradox is going to make it so that there's going to be two of me so sure the other me is going to be fine but what about me right now the one that's talking to you he's not going to be fine he's going to be stuck here i'm going to be stuck in this timeline that doesn't change anything the paradox is not going to change the fact that i'm going to not be able to get out of there i'm still going to be stuck in here it's just another me from another timeline that's going to another universe that's going to do that that's uh yeah, I don't know, boys. I don't know if I like that. Well, sure, why not, I guess. All right, so that's all the questions I had for now. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Uh, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice anyways, right? No, I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Uh, I'll see what I can do, I guess. All right, well, we got our first missions. It's very RPG-like, except for not leveling up. I don't feel like we are leveling up. It's just us doing a bunch of different stuff. Uh, I'll leave it for right now, though. 
We'll save the rest for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Keep it easy, boys.